Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to practice our polygonal model skill by creating another product design. Today, we also see how to create a simulation using Mass Effects. If you like the contents, subscribe to the channel, leave your like and comment here what you'd like to see in the next videos. So, let's go to class. Let's start by creating a plan to add our reference. The download link is in the video description. With the line, we are going to create the outline of the model. Now, with the last modifier, we are going to create the shape using the line we created. Just select it and drag it to the side. Make sure to center the model with the reference. In segments, set it to 40. Add an edit poly and we are going to increase the size of the base a little. We are going to insert some loops and use the cuts tool to create a new line in this part. At the bottom, we are going to delete some face and align the edges of the borders. We are going to adjust the vertices, creating a sloughed curvature. I'm going to remove these lines to position them a little higher. Let's do the same on the top part. Once that is done, let's align the top vertex. Remember to achieve the edge constraint. Let's add a new loop and connect the vertices with connect. Now add a symmetry and convert it to editable poly. With the base created, let's create the front opening by delete this face. Add the loop close to the edge and apply a chamfer to the corner's edge, creating a rounding. Let's bring this loop closer and use target welds to weld the points. Close the hole on the bottom using scale while holding shift. With collapse, we'll close the hole and add a support loop to this part. Now, we add a shell modifier to give thickness to the part. Here, we see a problem on the top. To solve it, just weld the points with the collapse. Two is good value on the shell. We add an edit poly and insert two support loops to keeping the edge hard. In the whole parts, we add four support loops and also in the upper part of the model. Inside the hole, we apply a chamfer. Extrude this face backwards and align them on the z-axis. This way will give diff to the detail. We remove the lines and adjust the edge so that it does not cross the part.
finally, add support loops to keeping the edge hard. Now, that we have the base of the model created, we will make its interior. To do this, we will select some face and apply on detach to separate them from the model. I will add a shell to give thickness to the part and adjust its size. We will create a copy to add the compartment where the medicine are. We will adjust the position and scale of the top. Now we will delete the top face, apply the shell to give thickness to the model. We all need the interior part of the model, we will select this face, separate them with detach and delete the rest. Now let's create the medicines, using a cylinder. We will create a piece and adjust it according to the reference. We will keep only on segments on the sides. With the cuts, we will fill the shape on the top. Center the pivot of the piece and apply a symmetry to mirror the shape. I will add an edit poly to add some details on the model. Finally, add symmetry and the cylinder FFD modifier. We adjust it to 12 segments on the sides and make the model more rounded on the top and bottom. Once it is done, we convert it to editable poly and position its higher up. Returning to the container, we will close the hole in the base. And now we use mass effects to create the animation of the medicine following into the container. With the medicine selected, we will go to mass effects, rigid borders animation and dynamic. Let's change the physical parameters to vertices and in vertices set it to 256. Now with the container selected, we will go to mass effects, rigid borders and static. Here, in the shape type, we will change it to original. We will select the container. I will leave Mass Effects tool open here to make it easy to create the simulations. Well, in acceleration of gravity, I will change it to minus 60. In this other step, we will not change anything. Returning to the mad scene, we will change the inflation value to 0.5 and let's play the simulation to see if it's working. Here we we'll see that it's working correctly. What we're going to do now is make copies of the medicine. Since in your reference this container is almost full, we're going to create several copies until it fills the entire container. Here, I'm going to test the scopes to see it's everything working well. Ok, let's keep in creating the copies.
Right, I think we have a lot here. Let's play the simulation. Here, we see that copy has come out of the container. No problem, let's delete this. And to create this animation in 3ds Max frames, let's click on Bake All. This way, we will record the entire animation of the simulation in the timeline. If you want to leave the entire simulation until to the end, remember to increase the number of the frame in your timeline. Mine is only configured to go up to the frame 100. Here, we see that everything is working. Let's leave in the frame with the animation in the scan itself. I'm going to return to the container and we see that we have to delete some copies. We are going to convert it to editable poly again. We use scale to close the hole and create this detail on the top as showing the reference. We apply a chamfer to the Zs and add some support loops with PAL1. We apply a shell, this time outwards, with the volume of 1. We will add an edit poly and improve our mesh by adjusting the edges of the top and removing some edges that we don't need. And finally, adding some support loops. To finish the model, we will create this button. Select the face on the side of the detail and apply a detach with the clone option turned on. We will invert the normals and align the edges on the z-axis. We close the hole with the bridge and insert some loops. Finally, the bridge again. We adjust the size so that it match to the reference. Here, I will join the points with the welds. I will add an open subdivid modifier and add a loop to keeping the edge hard. Let's leave in the modifier at 1 and add a new edit poly to create the circle inside. We will select some face and use the loop regularizer to transform them into a circle. We use scale and adjust its size and depth of the detail. We add a chamfer to the Zs and open subdivide again. At the base of the model, we will create two very simple knots. Using the extrude itself, and then chamfered on the edges. And another in the center part of the piece. This one will align the loop on the y axis with the edge constraint enabled. 
we adjust its position and apply an extrude and the chamfer. And that's it! The model is finished! I hope you enjoy the contents! See you next time! Bye!